Hello, everyone, and welcome to our December LifeWave Connect product webinar. We are so thrilled to have you here today. I have just a few uh, housekeeping items before we get into the webinar today and bring on David um, that I wanted to talk about. First and foremost, um, we have just loved these LifeWave Connects and all the questions that, that you've been sharing with us. We want the opportunity to answer as many as those as possible. When you put those questions in the chat, it's really hard to see them because there's hundreds and hundreds of comments coming up. So there's a little box at the bottom that says Q&A. And if you have questions for today's webinar, we'd love for you to put them in that Q&A box so we can make sure that we see those and get to them. Next, there are so many exciting things. Uh, first of all, just so much gratitude for uh, an amazing November. Uh, you, it is it it just blows our minds the amount of work and the amount of dedication that is that is coming from all of you at this point. We had a phenomenal, phenomenal month. So much gratitude to share with you there. And then we have some really big things coming up. Nova is on the horizon here. It's our virtual convention coming in January. That's going to be January 14th. It's a $19 registration um, leading up through the end of December. In January, that goes to $29. Um, it's going to be a digital broadcast. It'll start at 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. I'm going to actually have Garrett, who's on this call. He's going to drop the link for registration in the chat. But with that, I want to bring on David. So, uh, David, first of all, um, you know, what a phenomenal November, but also this this Nova thing, I, my understanding is that they might get a little a little taste of, of what's to come today. <laughs> Hi, Jeff. Great to see you as always. And uh, yes, we are going to be doing a little bit of a tease today. Uh, of course, we are going to be talking about pain management and what people can do for pain relief. Um and the way the information is being presented is in the style of our upcoming Nova event in January. So, of course, the theme for Nova this year is heart to heart. And uh, from my perspective, one of the best and greatest things that anyone can do for their fellow human is to uh, provide them with pain relief. So we're gonna be going through that, the specifics, the protocols, what products you use and why, uh, how the pain relief works, because people will wanna know about that, the clinical studies that we have to substantiate the effects. And of course, we're gonna give everyone the opportunity to ask lots of questions. So I'm very much looking forward to it. Well, very, very good. Uh, so in, so uh, to get started here then, um, I, my understanding is that you have a little bit of information that you want to share with us um, in a presentation. Are you okay if we jump in right there? Well, let's jump in and do it. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. And uh, as Jeff was saying, I want to take the opportunity to uh, thank all of our amazing leaders around the world. Thank all of our brand partners. Uh, November, of course, was an amazing month. Uh, we broke all kinds of records. The biggest month in the history of LifeWave, the biggest commission week in the history of LifeWave, the biggest single sales week, the biggest single sales day. Uh, so really, uh, uh, it's the success, your hard work, that you do every day that allows us to bring our technology and our products around the world. And of course, uh, also provide humanitarian effort around the world as, as well. So like Jeff, I want to express my thanks and appreciation for everything our brand partners and leaders do. Okay, so with that, let's go ahead and get started. And um, where we're going to start off today is on the science section of the website. And I thought what we might do would be a little bit different than the way we usually present information on uh, LifeWave Connect. First, of course, uh, the science section is an area where you can go and, and read uh, information on some of our patents, our published studies, our other studies that we've done. And what's a little bit different about this is I want to go all the way back to a study that we did uh, very early on in LifeWave. And uh, this study shows visually what happens when you apply IceWave, what goes on in the body when we apply the patches. And 
this study actually was done on horses. Now, the first thing that you should know is that as a company philosophy, we do not do any, <clears throat> I apologize, my voice is a little dry today. Um, we do not do any studies on animals that will in any way endanger the health or well being of the animals. So when we are applying patches to horses, none of these horses are being sacrificed as you might have in a pharmaceutical study. Uh, instead, this is completely non invasive. And uh, we are, of course, helping uh, the horses to feel better. Uh, I'm an animal lover. Uh, my daughter and I have a Rottweiler and a uh, Australian Shepherd. I love animals. And uh, so we don't want to endanger the, the health or well-being of any animals. I used to have an old joke to say we experiment on humans before we ever experiment on animals. That's an old joke, so I won't use it anymore. But it, it just happens to actually be the truth. We experimented on humans before animals. So we know that's safe and effective. So uh, first on a horse, uh, on this study, we worked with Dr. Lauren Durock, and she is a uh, veterinary acupuncturist. And basically, for those of you that wouldn't be familiar to how you might patch a horse, the way that it works is you would use your thumb or your index finger to apply pressure along the spine, maybe along the same way that you might do with a human being. And uh, the horse is going to jump uh, or kick or move if there's a point of pain when you palpate, when you apply pressure. So that is how you're going to locate where to apply the uh, patches on the horses. Now, there's another method here too about how to locate where the pain is, and it's going to be on this infrared image. So in this study, we worked with uh, Dr. Dean Clark, and uh, you, what you do is you take the horses and you put them into a controlled environment. So you make sure that uh, you have the horse in there for 10 or 20 minutes. So you know that the readings that you're going to get are accurate. So once the environment uh, reaches equilibrium, then you take these uh, infrared images and all of these red areas are areas of pain. So this, this is what if you had uh, an acute or chronic neck or back pain, uh, it might show up like this. Red areas are heat and inflammation. So we didn't have to take any uh, blood or God forbid urine samples out of these horses. Uh, instead, this was all done non-invasively with an infrared camera. Okay, so that's what it looks like now. By applying pressure to the spine, you can locate where the point of pain is, and we apply ice wave patches, and then we can go back and film 10 or 20 minutes later. And uh, you can see what happened after only 10 minutes of applying the patches. There was a dramatic reduction in pain and inflammation. Uh, as a matter of fact, you can go back now very, very quickly, less than 10 minutes, and apply pressure to that point of pain on the spine, and the horse will no longer kick or kind of get like a chill through its spine. The, the horse is no longer sensing pain. So what this tells you is that there's two different things that are going on here. One is that there's an immediate bioelectrical effect. So within seconds of applying the patches, I'm going to show you another study we did that demonstrates this. Within less than 10 seconds of applying ice wave, the pain reduction starts. This is why when you're giving a demo and uh, myself and, and other leaders around the world, such as uh, Royce or Jono, uh, Nikki Chan, Larry Chang, who have demonstrated IceWave, built their business for many, many years. Uh, 
they know from practical experience, you start applying the patches and within seconds they can go to work and you can get somebody out of pain very, very quickly. Then within about the first 10 to 20 minutes, we see the inflammation start to come down. So the message here is that when you're applying ice wave or the other patches, there's going to be an immediate effect, but have that person relax, drink a glass of water and monitor their progress because they're going to continue to get better over the next 10, 20 minutes in the next hour. Here is, uh, that was a published study, uh, by the way, uh, that we had. It was our very first published study, Journal of American Holistic Veterinary Medical Association. Here is uh, another published study that we did. And uh, this one was on human beings. And we used a uh, electroacuscope. And what was amazing, this was on 30 people. And what was amazing about this is that again, we were able to measure bioelectrically that within seconds of application on this equipment, you could see a change in tissue conductivity. And if you come down over here, you see that we reached uh, highly significant effects in reducing intensity and perception of pain. So this is all to say that when you are going to work with someone and you want to help them relieve pain, these products are tested, clinically proven, safe, effective, non-toxic, and they work incredibly quickly. This also helps to give us some insight about how we can work with people when we're marketing our products and our business. So the point of Nova and this whole idea of heart to heart is that we never want to sell anyone on anything. What we want to do is help people fulfill their needs. Maybe they need an extra 500 US dollars every month to pay for food and clothing for their family, or they want to save money for retirement. Maybe someone in the house is having pain or a problem sleeping, uh, low energy, they want to heal a, a chronic wound, whatever it is, uh, we want to look at how can we improve this person's life and make this person's life better. And so uh, that's the goal and the objective, not to sell them on something, but to find out how can we be of service to the person that we're working with. So as we get into the specifics here, uh, I'm gonna remind all of you that I am not a medical doctor. Anything that we talk about here should not be a replacement for medical advice. Uh, any of these recommendations, they're my opinions based on years of research. Take these opinions to your healthcare practitioner and find out what is best for you or whoever it is you're working with. We don't wanna put ourselves in the position that unless you're a healthcare practitioner, you shouldn't be giving people uh, medical advice. We have general wellness products and uh, pain management, helping to support relief of pain fits within the category of general wellness. Let's first talk about X39, really brief overview since we've gone over this quite a bit. There are enormous benefits to X39, and it should be the first product that we all start with. So as you're going to you're going to introduce LifeWave to someone, introduce X39 first, uh, because in an underlying health condition, when someone has pain, Elevating levels of copper peptide is going to help manage inflammation. We know, of course, that it mobilizes stem cells, which is going to support the healing and the recovery process. But elevating copper peptide has the ability to uh, help manage inflammation. So it is going to help to provide pain relief, right? And of course, the other benefit is that if we make cells young and healthy, 
uh, then in effect, we're charging up the cell with energy. And uh, that is a phenomena bioelectrically that is associated to reductions in pain. Whenever we are increasing energy metabolism, and this is how the energy patches and ice wave work, they ramp up the metabolism of fats in the body to increase cellular energy. This process increases the flow of energy through the body. It increases the electrical charge on the cell membrane and getting en an improved energy flow is what's going to reduce pain, not covering it up with an analgesic. And of course, this is going to help to provide recovery. So we'll talk about this in a little bit more detail as far as what is pain. But the important thing is we don't want to mask pain. That's not what we're doing. What we're doing is getting the cells healthier by increasing their energy production, increasing the electrical charge around the cell, and improving the flow of energy through the tissue. That is what gets non-drug pain relief. And of course, this is going to, as a result, support overall well-being. Okay, so you uh, meet someone casually, you have an appointment with them, maybe you notice that they're struggling with some pain or they open up and they tell you about this, how can you help them? What's interesting is that regardless of whether or not we talk about pain relief from a Western or Eastern point of view, it's all described the same way. It's a blockage in the flow of energy. So there's no need to cover up the pain with a drug, unless it's very severe, of course. Uh, what we want to do, though, is restore the natural flow of energy through the tissue. And there's a number of ways that we can do this. So if you're on today uh, and you're struggling with pain, you have many, many options. And I'm going to get into that. And that's what's so exciting is that you don't have to live in pain. So we want to normalize tissue conductivity. That has to do with electrolytes. So a little bit of a teaser here. Electrolytes like sodium, potassium, calcium, magnesium, if you are deficient in those electrolytes, you are going to be experiencing pain along with some other things. Uh, for example, did you know that if you're deficient in calcium, you could be experiencing insomnia or muscle cramps? or general fatigue. If you have a deficiency of magnesium, which at least over 60% of the population does, uh, if you have a deficiency in magnesium, that's gonna affect well over 300 different metabolic pathways. Magnesium is a natural relaxant. So increasing the amount of magnesium that you get in your diet goes a long way to helping your body relax and relieve pain. Same thing with potassium. Potassium is absolutely critical um, for assisting with pain relief. And another benefit is that potassium helps to keep the arteries supple. So it's good for the health of your heart as well. Uh, and when there's an injury, let's say you damaged your knee, your elbow, and you've got some inflammation there, what we wanna do is uh, restore the flow of energy. So when there is a um, blockage to the flow of energy, there's a change from a change in tissue conductivity and that's a result of inflammation, the way the brain interprets that is to say, okay, the tissue has been damaged, the signal's been corrupted, so let's protect that area of the body from further injury so that's where pain is coming from. So if we normalize the tissue, the pain is gonna go away. So here are some options, and there are many options with our products. We're not gonna cover everything today. Uh, the go-to, what's easiest is X39 and Eon. So an extreme, if you're just getting started, the good news is when you're patching someone Many, many times, it's as simple as placing X39 on the back of the neck and Eon at the point of pain. Now, if they have pain throughout the body, you could apply Eon 
below the belly button. Or if they have pain throughout the body, and let's say it's it's a sore shoulder, uh, they could apply Eon to the shoulder. They could pick the point on the body that's in the most pain because uh, we know through our blood studies that applying patches produces a systemic effect. But that would be a really easy protocol to start with. Anyone can do it and the results are spectacular. Now, glutathione is another option. Keep in mind that when people have pain as a result of diabetic neuropathy, uh, from arthritis, Parkinson's disease, these are all characterized by reduced levels of glutathione. Glutathione is neuroprotective, meaning it protects the nerves from damage. So if you deplete your glutathione levels, um, for sure, you are going to experience problems with your immune system and you're leaving yourself open to chronic disease and injury. So this is why since uh, the pandemic or plandemic, whichever one you prefer, uh, I've been recommending people take an NAC supplement, N-acetylcysteine, or make sure you are getting enough cysteine, that's an amino acid in your diet, because you need cysteine to make glutathione. And glutathione uh, helps at least what's been shown, because I won't make a product claim, what's been shown with studies with N-acetylcysteine is that it is a very, very effective way to protect people from some of the serious effects of COVID. So I'd recommend you all take an NAC supplement or something to elevate glutathione that has cysteine. Now, Ice Wave, of course, was our very first pain relief product. A really simple way to use Ice Wave is just to apply it on the bottom of the feet. This is a way to sedate the nervous system. So let's say you're dealing with someone that has chronic pain. They've had pain for a long period of time. Maybe it's arthritis. Maybe it is uh, Parkinson's disease, something like that. If you want to help them relieve their pain, you're going to apply X39 behind the neck and ice wave on the bottom of the feet. Now, we did a study with Professor Bruno Brandymart in Italy, very well-known guy. And what he found was that the uh, fastest way of bringing up the bioelectrical energy in the body for pain relief, and keep in mind, we didn't have X39 back then, was to place one set of ice wave on the bottom of the feet. Uh, this would be on the kidney one acupuncture points. That's what's in our, uh, in our literature, in our IFU. And then a second set of ice wave right up here in acupuncture, it's on kidney 27, but it's right around the uh, thymus. Okay, so white on right, tan on left. On many people, those points are gonna be sore. And in acupuncture, that's on the beginning and the end of the meridian. Don't worry, we're not teaching acupuncture. Uh, but it's a very simple way to say that you can cover the entire body for pain relief by putting one set on the lower torso and one set on the upper torso. And let me just see how I'm doing on time. All right, good, we keep moving along here. Now, what are some other things that we can do to support pain relief? Well, first thing is if we look in the literature, what we're gonna see is that many times when people are in pain, they're dehydrated. And this is only further complicated with aging. So you don't have to give someone, if you're doing a demonstration, you don't have to give someone a glass of water. If you want to, it may improve the results. But keep in mind, uh, many people today, they drink too much coffee or tea, they're not drinking water, and um, they're gonna be dehydrated. If you're dehydrated, you can't make energy. And, uh, you can't have the hydration you need to conduct bioelectrical energy through the tissue. So very often uh, when people are in pain, uh, they'll get a great result by combining our products with water. And it should be clean, healthy water. Now, as I said before, uh, the transmission of bioelectrical energy through the nervous system, through the meridians, 
is contingent upon not only hydration, but electrolytes. So look at your diet and see if you're getting uh, enough uh, calcium, potassium, and magnesium in your diet. Most people, of course, they get enough uh, sodium and chlorine. Uh, so I definitely would look at, if you're in doubt, look at a supplement for potassium, magnesium, and calcium. Uh, with potassium, something like potassium citrate is good. Thousand milligrams per day uh, covers a lot of bases. Uh, with calcium and magnesium, I like natural sources like algae cal. Uh, I think that's a good source. Uh, definitely not calcium carbonate, uh, which is chalk. Um, and a calcium citrate could be okay. Magnesium, you've got lots of options. Uh, magnesium glycinate is a really, really good one. Uh, or magnesium bisglycinate, another really good option. Uh, there's also magnesium taurate. And I really like magnesium taurate because it, uh, taurine, most people get deficient in as they age. And uh, magnesium taurate helps to bring up taurine levels slightly, uh, but also relaxes the nervous system. And uh, there's another form of magnesium too called magnesium three and eight. And uh, if you take magnesium three and eight and calcium before going to bed, um, that goes a long way to relaxing the body. So if you're struggling with insomnia, a high blood pressure, taking a calcium and magnesium and potassium supplement uh, will go a long way to uh, helping you with those things. And again, I'm not a medical doctor. Uh, if you have a serious health condition like high blood pressure, hypertension, uh, please speak with your healthcare practitioner about those supplements. Now, another thing for uh, pain relief, this is a really, really surprising one, copper. We recommend copper supplementation because X39 elevates uh, copper peptide. So you have to have the amino acids there and you have to have the copper and many people today are deficient in copper. So here's the bad news. Natural sources of copper are liver. Now, I will admit I love liver. I always have. And but I I know that uh many of you are not going to share that love with me. Uh so another food uh which I would recommend is chocolate. Dark chocolate is very rich in copper. And if you want to make sure you're getting enough copper, a 2.5 milligram supplement of copper glycinate is going to go a long way. But in clinical studies, it was shown that people that had elevated levels of copper within normal range were able to tolerate pain much, much better. So copper is anti aging, it's antiviral, antibacterial anti-cancer, and it supports longevity because of copper peptide. So I would strongly recommend if you're suffering with pain that you take a daily supplement of copper or eat more dark chocolate and, um, and liver. Okay, NAC we've already talked about, N-acetylcysteine, an amino acid, that is a precursor to glutathione, elevating glutathione. It's a natural anti-inflammatory. It supports immune activity. So let's say you have arthritis. We know that arthritis is a result of the immune system uh, basically attacking healthy tissue. So if we support the health of the immune system, we are gonna be able to get arthritis and pain under control. So NAC is going to cover a lot of bases here. It's going to elevate glutathione and support glutathione levels. If you take NAC on its own, uh, it's fine. But if you really want to get a rapid boost in glutathione, use our glutathione patch. So uh, doing this, elevating glutathione is going to help to manage inflammation, support immune system, detoxify the body, and uh, so it's wonderful. It should be a pillar of what you're doing to help manage pain. Now, there, there are certainly many other things that you can do here. 
Uh, curcumin is a good example. It is a natural extract of uh, turmeric. I know I'm, I don't pronounce that uh, as the way some of you might because I'm from New Jersey. So cut me a little bit of slack. Uh, uh, you know, old habits die hard. Uh, but curcumin is wonderful. And uh, BCM95 is a natural extract. And uh, because curcumin is such a broad spectrum anti-inflammatory, it is a wonderful addition to a pain management protocol. Uh, olive oil is another one. I'll, olive oil, as it turns out, organic olive oil, make sure you get the real stuff because there is a lot of fraudulent uh, product on the market that comes from China. Uh, olive oil uh, is primarily monounsaturated fats and it has life extension properties. As a matter of fact, uh, many doctors that I've spoken with believe that the benefits of the Mediterranean diet are as a result of olive oil. So olive oil is a gene modulator. It's capable of activating sirtuin genes, perhaps even more effectively than resveratrol. So you may be able to get rid of resveratrol and substitute olive oil. Uh, research on that is relatively interesting, but from the sake of longevity and managing inflammation, olive oil is amazing. There's one other here that's not on the list and that's DMSO, dimethyl sulfoxide. It is, um, it is something which has been not looked upon very favorably by the FDA here in the United States because it is so powerful. Uh, you can't overdo DMSO. Definitely speak with your doctor. If you took it internally, two tablespoons per week would be the maximum. DMSO is a blood thinner, uh, but it's also a very, very powerful anti-inflammatory. Um, it has the, I will warn you, it has the one side effect of making you smell like garlic all the time. Uh, interestingly, DMSO and curcumin is a natural treatment for prostate cancer. So. Um, more on that maybe another day. So this would just be all to say, this would just be all to say that those are things that you can do along with the patches uh, that would be extremely powerful in managing pain and inflammation. So I think that's about the time I wanted to take on that. Well, you know what is fantastic is you have a lot of fellow liver lovers out there, David. I think more <laughs> than you would know. I saw the comments popping up. Uh, this is, I mean, it's what fantastic information and, and presented in such a an easy and understandable way. There, the questions are flying in. Um, one of the first ones, though, related is uh, regarding consuming liver. Is there any specific type that you prefer? Uh, well, first of all. Um... I would say if you're going to consume liver, keep in mind that liver is the filter of the body. So you want to have it organic. I, I would not consume liver unless I knew it was organic. Uh, for those people that want to uh, take it on a regular basis, get the benefits and not eat it because it may not be convenient to eat or maybe difficult to get. Um, there are companies that sell organic liver supplements from New Zealand. And uh, so these would be uh, uh, capsules that have powdered desiccated liver in them. And I think that's a really, really good option. There's another benefit too, to consuming liver on a regular basis and that it's got an enzyme um, that will detoxify the liver of a number of different things, including viruses and um, and xenoestrogens. So I'd recommend taking the liver uh, liver supplement or eating liver because it, it's a very powerful way to detoxify. Plus, uh, desiccated liver is also a great source of copper. So you can take that as your copper supplement. Uh, for those of you that are interested in uh, building muscle, there are growth factors in liver. Jack Lane, uh, who lived to, I think, 98 or 99, 
uh, would consume like 100 liver tablets a day when he was training for an event. And uh, old time bodybuilders from the 50s, 60s and 70s, they knew that liver could uh, act. It was a very, very powerful bodybuilding supplement, way more than just a uh, source of protein. Uh, and if you're elevating copper peptide, copper peptide protects the body against the negative effects of getting too much iron. Liver is a fantastic sort of source of iron, but if you take too much iron, it damages healthy tissue. But fortunately, elevating copper peptide buffers iron in the body from damaging healthy tissue. So we get that in balance then. Perfect. Okay, so a few other things here. Uh, you know, there's a few questions coming in uh, regarding you know different types of pain, different sorts of pain, acute, chronic, so on and so forth. But one of them is uh, someone asked. I wonder if David would say a few words about the patches and uh, neuropathic pain. Ah, okay, sure. Uh, some questions on liver, by the way, beef or chicken. There's some slight differences. I would say either beef or chicken liver is fine. Either one is okay, as long as it's organic. Uh, mm -hmm. I think beef liver might be a little bit easier to get, um, but uh, yeah, generally either one is, is, is okay. Um, okay, so with regards to neuropathic pain, this is something that we have studied for many years now. And uh, as a matter of fact, when we were initially doing our stem cell research, we were looking at treatments for diabetic neuropathy. So there can be two different types of uh, neuropathic pain, let's say that we studied, idiopathic or, or diabetic. So in diabetic neuropathy, the nerve damage is caused by elevated levels of uh, sugar, blood sugar. So if a person is diabetic or has diabetic neuropathy, one of the things that you wanna do is get their blood sugar under control. Other than diet, two ways of doing this is to elevate their glutathione and uh, elevate alpha lipoic acid. So if someone were to take 300 milligrams of alpha lipoic acid uh, four times a day, if they were insulin dependent diabetic, they could get a 60 to 65% decrease in their need for insulin. It's life-changing. Uh, we've seen some other things with X39 that are anecdotal in terms of getting blood sugar under control. Uh, but I'd say, you know, I'd recommend a high protein, moderate fat diet, very low carbohydrate diet, get those blood sugar, intermittent fasting, get those blood sugar levels under control so you can mitigate any further damage. Um, next, uh, I would be looking at elevating glutathione. Glutathione, which we've already talked about, glutathione is neuroprotective. People that have neuropathy are going to have depleted levels of glutathione. So take a supplement, use our patch, but get those glutathione levels elevated. For applying the patches, I would try a few different things. I'd be, uh, because neuropathic pain is typically going to be on in the feet and the ankles, I'd be applying uh, ice wave on the bottom of the feet on a daily basis. There are a few other options. You could apply them on the inside of the ankles. So if you were to go uh, four finger widths up from the ankle bone, right over there, there's an acupuncture point called spleen six. I'd be applying, you could alternate between the bottom of the feet and the inside of the ankles with ice wave. Uh, simultaneously, I'd put X39 on the back of the neck uh, to help manage the inflammation. And if there's a real uh, bad point of pain, I might also add Eon or glutathione right to the point of pain. So neuropathy is a great example of how we would wanna combine <coughs> diet, uh, moderate exercise, hydration, supplementation, and the patches to get a synergistic effect so uh, we could get the best outcome possible. And of course, some, that's a medical condition. So a person needs to work with their doctor. Yeah, uh, it's kind of tagging on to that question. One of the, the questions coming out was, what about nerve pain specifically from surgeries? Uh, any comments on that? 
Yeah. Uh, nerve pain from surgery is definitely uh, difficult. It's definitely a challenge. Uh, but, you know, certainly um, I've done this, you know, when I've had dental surgery, along with many other people and recovering from surgery and uh, our products work extremely well. So if someone had nerve pain as a result of surgery uh, and we're recovering, uh, what I would do is apply two sets of ice wave, one on the bottom of the feet and one up over here at the collarbone or another, another possibility is on the inside of the uh, elbows. That's in acupuncture heart three, white on right, tan on left. These are going to give uh, very rapid increases in energy in the body. Uh, I'd be using X39 behind the neck and I'd apply Eon directly to the point of pain or glutathione, but my preference would be Eon. Uh, I'd also be taking the supplements that we talked about and making sure person's getting uh, proper nutrition. So that that would be a, a very, very good program for dealing with something like uh, pain, nerve pain or pain after surgery. Someone just asked the question, does X49 play a role in pain at all? And if so, what role? That's a very interesting question. We don't have any studies. Uh, that's why I haven't mentioned it. You know, with X49, the type of things that we have uh, focused on have been looking at uh, preventing bone loss. Mm. And by the way, I probably should mention it. Our X49 study on bone uh, just got published. Uh, I can't reveal the name of the journal yet because we, I don't have permission, but we just got it published. So I'm really excited about that. Uh, so we'll be re releasing that uh, soon. So we were looking at how to improve bone density, which we showed in this study. We've been looking at uh, exercise, in reducing body fat, cognitive function, protection from 5G, uh, so we don't have a, we have indicators, but we don't have a specific study looking at that. Uh, carnosine is kind of interesting because we've seen for many years, carnosine will sedate the body and helps bring the body into a state of relaxation. So, uh, so that's something that people could try. It's a lot more limiting. That's, that's why X39, Ice Wave, Glutathione, and Eon are, are, you know, the first up at bat here to try, but carnosine and, uh, does in fact have a pain relief effect. It can. Good. Um, so some of the questions uh, we talked, a lot of them are on specific things and we might get to a few of those, but um, one of them or several of them are also on just general. So like in general, if someone is feeling just uh, muscle stiff, stiffness, uh, soreness, maybe even uh, waking up with headaches or or just in general kind of feeling uh, yucky and 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 uh, sore all the time. What what would the recommendation be? Well, it depends on what the cause is. So, <clears throat> if someone is sore because they worked out, um, you know, then that's going to be a good soreness. And the lactic acid is actually a very very powerful growth factor. Maybe this is a good time since we're getting in the time of year. People are thinking about. Uh, engaging in an exercise program in January, you don't necessarily want to wait till January. But uh, one thing to keep in mind is um, that when we exercise, um, the goal is to uh, put enough stress on the muscle so we'll create micro tears and we can rebuild and the muscle grows. Uh, so in order for that to happen, you got to feed the body with nutrients like uh, enough protein and uh, enough fatty acids. But when you're sore the next day, that is such a great thing because the soreness is what is uh, going to help the muscle grow. It's a, it's a uh, signaling molecule. So that lactic acid, you, you take muscle fiber, put it in a Petri dish and you add lactic acid to it, the muscle fiber is going to grow. So the soreness is a good thing. So I'm going to assume this is the other type of soreness, which is maybe like arthritis, right? Yeah. Let's say someone's suffering with osteoarthritis. Um, we would approach this exactly the same way as we would in the recommendations. Same use of patches, 
ice wave, one or two sets, one on the bottom of the feet, one up over here, one or two sets, uh, X39 behind the neck, and then Eon either at the point of pain or if it's general soreness throughout the body, uh, just below the belly button. Uh, we always recommend that people build up a solid foundation. So that means work with your healthcare practitioner, have them put you on a proper diet, uh, don't eat as much processed foods, drink enough water throughout the day, stay away from things that we know is harmful, like drinking too much alcohol, right? Don't smoke, don't do pharmaceuticals, all these kind of things, get enough exercise. Uh, so give the body an environment that is supportive of healing. And then all the supplements that we have uh, already talked about. So the idea here is that we're not just trying to reduce the soreness, we're, what we're doing is providing an environment of healing. So that requires a, uh, a holistic approach. <clears throat> I love that. Somebody asked a question on ice wave specifically, and I think you talked a little bit about this in terms of you know, increasing energy flow and things. They asked, you know, what is it, what is it that makes ice wave work? What is the mechanism or or what does it stimulate in the body? In order yeah, to that? That's a fantastic question. So ice wave came out of uh, the work that I was doing in energy enhancer, and that's why it followed. And uh, so the the two patches are very, very similar in that regard in terms of mechanism. So there are multiple things that are going on at the same time when you apply ice wave. The first thing is that the patches contain uh, stereoisomers of amino acids and sugars. They're processed in a very specific way so that they will stimulate the skin with low levels of light. This is known as photobiomodulation or low level light therapy or phototherapy, slight distinctions between each of those. Uh, but it, but it's in that family of effects. Uh, what most people would recognize is that you go out in the sun and sun will elevate your vitamin D, right? That's light having a biochemical effect on the body. So we stimulate the skin with low levels of light. What that does is it increases production of cytochrome C oxidase. Cytochrome C oxidase is found in uh, what's called the electron transport chain of the, uh, of the cell. It's in the mitochondria. And the mitochondria is what converts food over into cellular energy. So when we use light to increase cytochrome C oxidase, that will then uh, increase energy production in the cell. Mm -hmm. But ice wave and energy enhancers specifically turn on what's called beta oxidation, which is fat burning. So as we age, the amount of energy that we get from fat decreases, and the amount of energy we get from sugar increases. This is a really, really bad thing. So if we wanna improve the health and the vitality of the cell, we've gotta get the cell to start working the way that it did when it was younger. And one of the ways that we can do that is increase the amount of energy we get from fat. So ice wave and energy enhancer are similar in the sense that they stimulate the skin, they crank up energy production, and they do that by increasing energy production from fat. The cell has more energy, and as a result, the cell expands and gets an electrical charge around it. This improves the flow of energy through the tissue, and pain starts to come down. That's the mechanism. Wow. Fantastic. Fantastic information. This is, uh, this is great stuff. Um, okay. Uh, you talked a little bit about, you know, energy enhancer and ice wave being very similar, but someone's asking, well, what's the difference between Eon and ice wave? Oh, fantastic. So ice wave is because it's a bioelectrical effect principally it's biochemical too, <laughs> in the sense that we're elevating fat burning, but, uh, Essentially, with ice wave, what we're going to do is, is increase the electrical activity in the body and get the energy to start flowing. We've measured this, and it's been published in studies, so we know that's what happens, and the pain comes down. So what would you want to do 
to improve upon that effect. Well, what we'd want to do is start to manage inflammation. Hmm. Now, we don't want to eliminate inflammation in the body. Inflammation, when controlled, is required for our health. So when we have an injury, we want to tear down the old damaged tissue. As we age, we want to get rid of older cells. We do that with oxidative chemicals and with inflammatory chemicals. So we need it. It's when we age and the inflammation, our antioxidant system breaks down and our inflammation gets out of control, the inflammation starts to damage the stem cells and the healthy tissue. So Eon has a crazy number of health benefits. Uh, of course, we've done webinars just on Eon. But one of the benefits relative to pain is that it will reduce a broad spectrum of inflammatory markers. So it will bring down uh, inflammatory cytokines, uh, C-reactive proteins or CRPs. It'll bring down homocysteine, which is correlated with heart attacks. It'll bring down lipid peroxides, which damage uh, healthy cells. So the idea behind this is that we use ice wave to get the flow of energy back through the tissue and we use Eon to bring down inflammatory markers that are hanging around uh, creating the pain. Thank you so much. We have time for a couple more questions. It's amazing. These, these fly by so fast. There's so much information to <laughs> <They> cover <laughs> and so much good detail. And it's hard to believe we're 10 minutes from the top, nine minutes from the top of the hour here. Um, somebody's asked about uh, for sciatic nerve damage, shooting pain down the spine through the leg. How should someone apply ice wave patches that would be most effective? Fantastic question. So we have had so much success with sciatic nerve pain. It's really enjoyable when uh, when someone has been suffering from this and you can get them out of pain so quickly. So first thing is uh, sciatic nerve pain is more or less, depending on how you look at it, gonna start at the base of the spine. So you're gonna wanna put a tan patch on the point of pain, tan ice wave on the point of pain at the base of the spine. Then the pain is typically going to radiate down one of the legs. Let's say it's the right leg. You're going to apply the white ice wave patch to the top of the foot. Mm -hmm. So the pain, even if you don't feel, even if someone doesn't feel it there, the pain radiates down to the big toe. That's where the sciatic nerve will go. So let's say this is the foot. And there's your big toe. You can't really put a patch very easily on the big toe. You could, uh, but we're going to recommend right in the soft tissue between the uh, big toe and the next toe over. In acupuncture, that's a point called liver three. Uh, so you're going to want to put the patch there, and that works really, really well. So a tan patch at the base of the spine, at, at the point of pain, and then a a white ice wave patch on the top of the right foot. I would also use uh, either X39 on the back of the neck or an Eon patch, let's say below the belly button to support the inflammation. It may not be necessary, but for good practice, it's it's another tool that people have. Perfect. And then uh, kind of a little bit uh, in the same vein there, for severe back pain, would you recommend X39 plus Eon or X39 plus Ice Wave? Or what kind of combination would you recommend for that? So many great options here. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the clock method. We mm -hmm. have bracketing for pain. Lots of options. So I would start with X39 because it's so good for overall health. And uh, I might try the bracketing method first. So white on right, tan on left. And uh, so someone could have their significant other family member, friend, uh, go up the spine, starting at the back, and just start to apply mild pressure to different points along the spine to find out where is the pain, where is uh, the biggest point of pain, and then apply white on right, tan on left, apply bilaterally. Another way to do it is you could put 
the tan patch at the point of pain and then use the clock method to move the white patch around it to find the point of best pain relief. That's another way to do it. I would also look at what is the cause of the back pain. A lot of times, uh, lower back pain is a way of your body telling you, hey, you have a weak core. You're not exercising enough. You need to get out there, lose some weight, uh, strengthen up your core, and uh, you know protect your lower back. So uh, I would look at long term uh, working with a uh, someone that does rehabilitation, work with a personal trainer, but focusing on building up the muscles in the core, and that's going to protect the lower back. Uh, by the way, a warning sign: uh, sometimes lower back pain in men is associated with prostate inflammation. They go hand in hand. So. I'm not going to make any claims. Uh, definitely not. If you take the Eon patch, and uh, so if a man has uh, prostate inflammation and they apply the Eon patch to the point of pain on the lower back, right on the spine, uh, they may find that their uh, prostate symptoms improve. Now, prostate inflammation, elevated PSA, very, very significant very concerning medical condition. We're only talking about uh, inflammation and pain here. Not This is not a treatment. Uh, if someone is interested in a treatment for uh, either benign prostate inflammation or prostate cancer, I strongly recommend that they speak with a healthcare practitioner about using the combination of DMSO and curcumin as a treatment. I love it. Well, we're again, just about out of time here. I just want to wrap it up uh, and bring it back to something you said at the beginning, David, which was uh, around Nova and around, uh, you know, kind of the theme for Nova, which is this idea of heart to heart. And there's just so much need today in the world. Uh, pain and 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 suffering is is so common uh, that the market is uh, is incredible. But more important than that, what the market is represented by is individual people. I had a really interesting experience this last weekend where, you know, I've I've had a, a wonderful experience with the patches uh, since starting with LifeWave. And I and so I shared with my my mom and she had a wonderful experience. Well, I was at a family function this weekend and my aunt, uh, unbeknownst to me, my mom has been talking to her and sharing videos and sharing information. And she comes up to me and she said, oh, my gosh, I need to know more about this. And I, I you know, I, I, I just... But what what really stood out to me, David, was the look in her eyes and just the idea that there was so much um, desire to fix these the, the problems that she was facing. And it really brought that point that you were saying back to me, which is this heart to heart is we're dealing with real people and these are real situations and we have a real solution that can, can really help people. And when you frame it that way, it isn't about selling a patch, right? It's about helping. It's about uh, lifting people up. So with Absolutely. that, thank you, thank you so much. And any last thoughts that you want to share as we close this out? You know, actually, uh, you know, it's interesting you say that, Jeff, because uh, years ago I had the opportunity to attend a DSA meeting in uh, in Texas, and uh, the founder of Amway was there, and he was, as you would imagine, you know, uh, was a fantastic speaker, and he said, you know, I want you to keep in mind that what this industry is all about is building people up. That's what it is. We're servant leaders, and we should be out there helping people and building people up, not trying to sell anybody something. And I I never forgot that. It, it you know, was wonderful. And years ago, uh, we had someone in the business who is no longer with us, and this individual will go unnamed. Um, but um, he said to me, you know, in your presentations, you're recommending products we don't sell. And I, I think it's a bad idea and you should stop doing it. And, uh, you know, my response was, well, then you really don't understand the business we're in because we're here to help people in need. And uh, I do, I, I read a crazy amount of literature and maybe something that I'm going to recommend uh, is going to help somebody and solve a health problem. And I have an ethical responsibility 
to share that information, even if it has an impact on our sales. Uh, there's an ethical responsibility to share that information and and help people in need. I also have, you know, a superhero syndrome because you and I love to watch Marvel movies. So, <laughs> you know, there's a little bit of Iron Man in me that, you know, just wants to help people just because, you know. Uh, but um, in, in any case, that's why these uh, LifeWave Connects are structured the way that they are. First thing, it would be totally disingenuous to tell people, put the patches on and that's all you got to do. That would not be the truth. The truth is you need to build a foundation. People need to have a healthy diet, exercise, hydrate, get plenty of rest, and then our products are going to work great. They're going to work better, right? When people have that foundation. So that's why, you know, we present things the way that we do to give people the best opportunity possible to have an experience of healing, not have to suffer with some of these health conditions and have a great quality of life. And, um, and I can't imagine doing things any differently. Well, thank you so much. I know I, I send my personal gratitude for all, all that you do. And I, I see the comments here and, and just a, a lot of gratitude for sharing that information, that knowledge, and, and blessing us with, with that foundational knowledge on, on how to improve our health. So thank you with that. We'll go ahead and close out. Appreciate the time, David. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jeff. And uh, I hope our uh, community has a uh, wonderful holiday season, whether or not that's Christmas or Hanukkah, New Year's, whatever you're celebrating. I think there's Kwanzaa now this time of year. Whatever it is, uh, have a very blessed, safe, healthy, and happy holiday season. And uh, looking forward to seeing you all next year. All right. Bye.